Hi, I'm Marius from Inwest Photography and in this video we are going to look at the cool features in Photomate. So when you open up the application you're going to have an explorer like this which are going to show you your folders as well as the images in the root. Now when I go here to more options the first one I want to show you is called slideshow. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up a very nice slideshow. Now it'll have a fade in fade out effect and basically you've turned your tablet into a nice photo frame. If you want to go out of this feature, you can just go here to back and you just click on that and it's going to take you out of that. Now I'm going to go to more features again and you'll see just below slide there's one called network. Now this is a very nice feature as you don't always want to have maybe everything copied onto your device you can now browse your images that's on your PC as well. So I'm just going to go to a network drive. It might take a second for the drive to boot up. Now I've copied a few images on here just to show how this works. So now here I'm accessing the files on the network. So if I click on that image there, it's going to retrieve the image for me. And here's a larger thumbnail of the image and also here's the other images as well. I'm going to show you more features in this view a little later. Right, so that's basically how the network feature works. You just go to the drive where your files are and you just open it from there. You need to remember that if you're working over Wi-Fi there might be a little bit of lag depending how strong your signal is and obviously how large the files are that you want to open. These are obviously resized, so they're resized images so they are going really fast. Now I'm going back to the images on the device. Now say that I open up maybe this image right here. It's going to still have my explorer here, which is still going to have all my folders and everything. But it's got a little bit more info on this side. For instance, I've now got a histogram here at the top. Then I've also got a very nice star system here. Now you can either just click on the star to rate this image as a three star, or you can just run your finger over these stars and you can see that it's choosing the stars where my finger is running over it. So if you want two stars, there's a two star. If I want no stars, just drag it all the way to the left and you don't have any stars on it anymore. Then you can see I've got a little bit larger thumbnail here than the one right there. And it's also giving me the dimensions of this image in pixels, the date and time, the file size and also the camera that was used. Now when you click on this image again, you're going to go to a full size view. Now here are more EXIF data at the top so you can see exactly what shutter speed and aperture and everything like that you were using. And also very nice you can now zoom into your image to see some more detail on it as well. I'm just going to zoom back again. Now before I show you the editing functions of this program, I just want to show you the show on map function before I forget about that. I've got this image, uh, where is that image now? This image right here. And I just took of the tablet with the GPS function turned on. So if I go here to more functions, I can go here to more, click on that. And at the top you can see show on map. And that'll open up a map showing me exactly where that image was taken. So I can see I took it near Cape Town, South Africa. Right, now I'm just going to go out of this function again. And then I'm going to open up a raw file, as this program also supports raw processing. So I'm going to choose that file right there. Now again, it opens up in this small thumbnail here. I'm going to click on it again. It's going to go to full screen. Now at the top here, you can see my megapixel. I was shooting raw, my ISO, shutter speed, aperture, and all obviously the camera I was using. Now I can zoom in a little bit so we can see the image better. Now I'm going to go here to the side, choose more options, and then we can see here edit slash XMP. Now this is a very nice feature. So if I click on that, you can see all these editing functions I've got here. And also it's got a plus and minus that they've added in there, which is great because now you can fine tune exactly how much you want to dull in that effect. For instance, if I go to white balance and I choose the minus, you'll notice that the image will become a little blue. Oops, that was a bit too far. 
But as you can see, going to the minus side will make the image go blue. So if I go to the plus side, the image will get this nice warm color to it. Now I can go here to say contrast, and I can add a little bit of contrast to the image. And then also I can go to the blacks here and increase the blacks a little. And you'll notice the image will get very nice contrast. And I'm going to go up with the slider. I've also got saturation, clarity, noise reduction, a lot of the stuff you will have as well on um, camera raw if you're shooting in raw. Now, because um, the tablet has to obviously now render all these um, edit, editing that I've done, it's also got here a fast preview. So if you're finding that your tablet is a little bit too slow and you're waiting too long for the image to appear or the editing to appear, just click on fast preview and then you can speed up the process a little. Now at the bottom here, they've also got save as XMP side file. So if I choose that, it's gonna create an XMP file for me. So when I open the image up, it'll still look the same until, uh, the same as it did when I opened it up the first time, until the program reads that XMP side file and it's gonna add the editing that you've done. I can also choose save as JPEG and it's gonna create a JPEG file for me. Now, for instance, I can go here to reset to default, and you can see the image has got a little bit lighter, and it's not as warm as it was previously. Then I can go out of the image, and when I choose it again, and I open up the editing, you can see it will apply all those editing that we've done after it reads that XMP side file. Okay, my tablet suddenly froze on me, so it restarted, and then I went back to where we last were. Now you'll notice that when I open up the file, it has now changed to the settings that we applied because the program is reading that XMP side file. So it's very handy to save that side file if you've done your adjustment to the image. Now if you want to see your before and after very nice features, you can just click on the image and just move it. And there you can see the before, and if you let go, after a few seconds or depending on the speed of your tablet, there we can see the after again. So it's a nice way to see the before and after. Now if I go down again, you'll also see they've got here load templates. If you go to load template, you can now for instance go to say grayscale, choose that, and it'll convert your image for you to grayscale. So that's also very handy. And now you can go back up to your settings here and then you can now work on creating a better black and white. For instance, going to your blacks and increasing the blacks, which will then add a lot more contrast to the image. I can also add some contrast to the contrast slider and maybe a little bit more blacks. Now you can see we've got a very nice high contrast black and white image. Now I can go down again and I can say save as JPEG. It's going to create a JPEG for me as well on that. Now when you go back to your Explorer, we can see that here I've got the um, raw image and here I've got the black and white that we've created. I click on it again. This is now my JPEG file and I can zoom into this as well. Now, so I want to share this image. I want to send this to Facebook or via Gmail or whatever reason I want to share this with. I just go to more options and I go to share and it's going to open up a list of available options for instance, Facebook and Gmail, and now you can use this for your social media. Right, and I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna go back again. Now, so I want the EXIF information on an image. So I go back to that raw file. I can again choose the larger view. 
go to more options and you'll see another option here called more click on that and then I've got here delete image I can delete the image if I want to but here's X of data so now I can view all the X of data from this image here and I can also choose here view raw X of data that'll give me more information And then I, can, I also have the option to resize the image. So if I go to more options, more, I can now resize or convert the image. So I can click on that. And it's gonna give me new sizes if you want to resize an image before you submit it as an as, um, email or Facebook or whatever. You can now resize it here. And then it's also got the option here if you go to more that you can mirror or rotate the image. If you choose that, I can now say mirror horizontally. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back to the main view of the Explorer. And that's that for looking at this program. As you can see, it's got lots of features and lots of editing power.